This is a young 36 year old lady who presented in my OPD seven years ago with the inferior columbomatous area of the lens with a significant cataract. Since the cataract was significant, we decided to go ahead and do a fake on her. Now I am uh, starting off with my 2.2 millimeter incision, do the side port incisions as well. Uh, I then go ahead and uh, put in some air. I fill in air from the other side as well to get a very good complete air fill and then stain the anterior capsule with tripan blue. At this stage looking back probably should have blocked that colobomatous area with some uh, uh, hyaluronate. However, it didn't matter in this case. And after staining the capsule, I uh, expelled both the air as well as the tripan blue with 2% HPMC. Just making sure I get out all of that. Once that is out, I start off my uh, capsular excess with my 26 gauge needle. I have got my uterata ready. You can see that the capsule is wrinkling quite a bit. That is because of the lack of inferior zonules. I am going ahead and with some effort able to guide this capsular excess edge in a circumferential manner. So far seems to be going on well. Just notice carefully, I am always placing the tip of my needle right close to that capsular edge. I am not straying too far from it and guiding it millimeter by millimeter. Probably will be easier with a uterata or a capsular excess forceps. However, I seem to be able to manage with this, so I carry on. And there that is done. And once I have finished the excess, it is time to do the hydro dissection. And you can see that beautiful wave going across. So, I know my hydro dissection is perfect. However, I just put in a few more fluid waves just to try and separate as much as co cortex as possible before I actually uh, go in for the next step that is placement of the capsular tension ring. So I am inserting the capsular tension ring through a, a side port, one of the side port incisions and Probably I should have been supporting this ring, but in my over enthusiasm, I have forgotten this step. I am just guiding it, watching it, watching it go across that colobomatous area. You can see the ring going across that colobomatous area. And now getting the other eyelet into this bag is going to be a challenge. And I am doing it with my two dialer technique. I hook one of the eyelets, I am trying to get it in and I lost it there. So now no other go. I retrieve it from the angle. I just bring it into uh, the mid chamber and with my other dialer I hook the eyelet once again. It's a little bit awkward because it has to be, be, uh, be done bimanually. However, I got it and go into the bag and just tap it into place and that is it. It is gone in. I got the CTR in. Now it is time to fake o. And this unfortunately is pretty significant cataract. It is not going to be that easy. It is not going to be a cakewalk. So I have gone in with my sharp chopper and my 2.2 FACO tip. So 
so I am around 60% uh, uh, FACO power here trying to do the quick chop method I've got the first chop now the problem will be the rotation I don't expect because of the uh, uh, the the weak zonules it is going to be very difficult to rotate so I am trying to get a small piece, piece first hopefully I have got a pie and hope I can eat that well, things seem to be going my way and that's it now I have got some space I put in some OVD which I have not shown and very very carefully I am rotating this nucleus very very slowly taking care not to put too much torque onto the zonules so once I have got one area which I am uh, targeting I am targeting this hemi nucleus there I have got out that piece I will get out that piece and then again bit by bit rotate and target the other hemi nucleus as well and you can see that the iris is also tending to misbehave so I have to be a little bit careful however there is no other goal I have to rotate this nucleus so that I can approach it better from my main incision and watch how I am rotating it I am not trying to rotate it all the time against the furnace I am trying to pull it as well and then rotate so that as less stock as possible and there that's done once I have got it in the opposite side I think it will be much much easier just trying to get two segments out of this the iris is not making it any bit easier for me and manage to eat a bit of one segment it's not an ideal shopping by any uh, means but it will do that's it I have got out the nucleus, I have got out the epinucleus as well put in some intraocular adrenaline at this point in time and the next big hurdle will be getting out this cortex remember there is a CTR in place it's not going to be easy to get out this cortex so I am removing it segment by segment sometimes tangent tangentially teasing it along the CTR sometimes going under the under uh, the lower uh, part of the cortex and then aspirating and definitely where it is extremely difficult and not very um, dangerous I just leave the cortex I'm not going to uh, risk damaging more and more zonules So most of this cortex I am just trying to aspirate within the phonics itself. It's a pretty laborious process. I got it out. I'm not showing the entire thing. And then once that's done, uh, this is a Hoya single piece uh, foldable IOL which goes in very easily through a 2.2 millimeter incision. Trying to get it directly into the bag didn't manage. So in some OVD over the lens and then with the dialer I just stuck it into the back that's it. it's done I just tap it into place and it looks very well centered so there is nothing more for me to do I am not going to put in any CTS I am not going to put any C on e ring nothing I am just going to leave it like this and with that I put in my intracameral antibiotic and conclude the session thank you for, for watching